welcome back so this time around I'm getting on with the job of securing these cable guards so as you can see I've got safety wire pulling in two different directions on these and just created an anchor point on either side um, so they can't move uh, left or right anymore so a little bit tricky getting in there to you know get access to do that and there's the one on the other side same type of thing just drilled a hole there in that back bulkhead for anchor point one and then uh, put the safety wire around the uh, elbow there for the fuel um, breather tank or breather line so uh, yeah that's that done and so and this is the one under here and this is much more difficult to see you can see the safety wire that's in between the hinge there and I gotta rotate the camera crazy for you to be able to even see anything but the safety wire goes up the center there and it loops up over the top of that cable guard and then comes back down again and I've just sort of anchored it around there so and I've made sure there's no way it can get anywhere near the pulley or the cable itself and that cable guard is sort of locked in place there because it can't come down any further than what it already is it's hitting against the old hinge and the same thing on this side but again difficult to see you can just see the safety wire going up in there so uh, those two are locked in place as well so that's six down and uh, yeah it's a bit difficult to see in there but anyway it is done I assure you <laughs> and then um, the next thing was uh, the next one to get done was uh, up in the keel here and these ones what I've done is I've just sort of put a um, piece of carbon fiber there with some holes in it and that's underneath that um, all the hoses running there and I've got that sort of anchor to the floor there and then the cable uh, the safety wires just pulling those things back so they can't move and then likewise down here the ones in the keel this is a bit more tricky uh, so I had the holes that I had in the keel before from securing those um, or trying to secure those pulleys so I reuse those holes and you can see I've got a it's difficult because my phone wasn't getting in close here but I basically got that bolt there put a washer on it got the safety wire under the washer and then the safety wire loops back around the cable guard and there there's the bolt heads there so they're not really uh, you know sticking out or anything like that they're pretty flush just rounded off heads there so that has anchored those ones um, so that's basically all of them done and next up um, Justin and Elliot wanted me to uh, create a bit more clearance between this rod here and that new bracket that I created for the uh, elevator counterweight and you see it was sort of touching there and I've got it, everything disconnected right now but basically it was sort of just touching that bracket so what I've done now is I've I've moved or moved in the process of moving this bell crank here back uh, further in towards the bulkhead so I just drilled a second hole here there drilled a second hole and I haven't bothered to, to cut it off or anything I've just left it the same length but drilled a second hole there and uh, I can anchor that there and it basically moves everything uh, aft a little bit and then once that's in place there um, there's about an eighth of an inch of clearance or a little bit more around about an eighth of an inch of clearance here so it doesn't touch anymore so uh, that's set all, almost done there but it's just all these little jobs that I've needed to do just that take you know sometimes take several hours just to do because of the messing around um, and you know just trying to get access to things so it's bolted in place there now and I've just got to redrill the hole in there and I also had to shorten that spacer as well there's a spacer there shorten, shorten that and repainted it and then uh, that hole has to be redrilled back through the main shaft there so I can um, put the cherry rivet back in there just to secure it even more but uh, the way I, I drilled that hole in that those, that bolt is super snug there's no play at all so this is the uh, finished product there um, as you can see so got uh, the clearance there and when it's in the on the either end of the stops there it basically um, is moving back and forth the way it's supposed to do with those rod ends and next up uh, Justin and Elliot wanted me to have um, a fuel shut off so I've got this valve was already in there and I just had it um, safety wire but basically that's to uh, shut it off there so it's in the open position right now and I've run a cable here stainless steel cable and I still have to get the hardware to anchor that and if anyone's got any suggestions I'm trying to find some good clamps so I can anchor that um, to the, the the valves itself uh, and then I run the cable back through and it's not the prettiest of things but um, it does the job because this is the only way to get all the way through there so I just drilled a couple of quarter inch holes there to bring it through there and then that goes through 
that seat mount there and then finally the handle is under here and I uh, just got it pulled all the way out right now but normally it would just you'd only have to pull it out um, an inch and then it, you turn it clockwise and it actually locks into place so that that position there that'll be where it is when it's actually running and you pull it out to cut off the fuel so uh, that should do the trick and you can just when you're sitting in the seat there you'll just be able to reach down uh, next to the seat there and then you know rotate that anti-clockwise and then just pull it out and that'll cut the fuel off so if there's a fire on the engine it's easy enough to just to, to cut the fuel off and of course you turn the fuel pump off as well um, anyway so that's another job done so let's take a look at the last few uh, additions I did to the side stick design here uh, there wasn't much left to do but uh, first of all what I did was I changed this bracket up here I made it basically thick again the same way as this one like quarter inch thick uh, so it's stronger and I got this one sticking out here so there's an area to weld around the edge there and I basically slotted it out like that so it's easy enough uh, to cut that out of a single piece without trying to do anything super fancy uh, and this actually makes the clearance here for where the uh, air conditioner unit is on the left hand side of the ship so that can live in that sort of area when uh, this thing gets sort of rotated all the way up to this angle here and then I got a secondary bracket there which basically mimics that one so you know this is in double shear where it connects to the aileron control rod and then behind there I've got like a little plate that I put in there with a threaded hole and a bolt in there so this will be the stopper and that'll actually end up hitting up on here there and, and adjustable again with it'll have a locking nut in there behind there as well so you only need one of those um, on either side and then I'll st stop it from um, you know going beyond where you need it to stop uh, in the left direction and the right direction and next up um, I made this opening in here oh, made the opening in here for where the cable is going to come out there the cable that connects to uh, the stick and has all the buttons on it um, that plugs into the avionics so that'll just come out this hole there in the end of that and then this sort of cap um, is the preventer there to stop it from getting sort of um, cut if it you know stops it from coming against there and uh, I'll probably just put some extra heat shrink around it there to protect it so it doesn't chafe at all coming out of there and I had the similar setup on the previous one and I didn't see any indication of chafing on there so I think that'll be fine uh, and then next up here um, if I hide this guy what I did down here is I already had this guy which was kinda like um, the fail safe and I've added another one on the other side there and that's kind of just welded onto this cross, place, cross plate there so if for some reason one of the wheels does fail up here or whatever it'll sort of catch in this and still give you the ability to have aileron control uh, so that'll sort that out and then I added two I'll put two holes in here instead of one to bolt to that and then also put the hole in there that um, the stick mounts on um, that just has a single hole to uh, lock the stick into place the actual hand stick itself so that's pretty much everything there and I've checked all the the throws and stuff and made sure that everything sorted out and everything works fine in terms of dimension so everything should be good to go and the uh, shop that I'm using to source all the aluminum this time is a different one than I've used before up in Pennsylvania and they sort of dragged their feet a little bit but they finally got uh, my material shipped on Thursday yesterday so they'll should be here on Monday and then I can get to um, making you know the basis of this which will just be this bracket here um, and then this guy here with these wheels same up here with these wheels this bracket and uh, the lower one as well make all that stuff and just get the basics of you know four wheels and, and a bracket and then the center stick here and then set that up on the bench put this in a vise so it can't move and then put a wrench on this guy and, and put it at down the end here and, and torque it you know to a hundred pounds from six inches out and then just see uh, how everything handles that and see if there's flexing or the wheels are moving or whatever uh, just to make sure it can handle at least that amount of load and more 
so that'll be the next job once I get the materials uh, in place. And before I forget, I want to say happy birthday to Colonel Ted Thilly, who's uh, one of um, our valued supporters. Um, he's in his 70s, so uh, I hope you hear this, Ted, and I hope you had a great day. Anyway, that's the update for this week. Thanks again for watching, and tune in again next week and see what I get up to. Bye.